Kennedy! And now it's time for the United States Championship as we are live from Houston, Texas for WrestleMania. Over 80,000 in attendance. Here comes Mr. Kennedy, a former world champion in his own right. Something about this match though is, uh, well, Kennedy got hurt. MVP was the one who replaced Kennedy in that elimination chamber at Survival of the Fittest. And he won the World Heavyweight Championship because of it. After Kennedy sustained an injury, MVP claimed that Kennedy's injury prone. Kind of all those. I can't, I can't, I, I have to agree with MVP. Oh, MVP interrupted Mr. Kennedy right there. I think Kennedy's all business tonight. Not even going to worry about grabbing the mic. Why would he? MVP is his target. This is a man that cost him the World Heavyweight Championship at Survival the Fittest. Actually, Kennedy got injured. MVP was just a replacement. Yeah. Still, who cares? But MVP that could have been him. That could have been him defending the championship had it not been for MVP. He still him. lost it, actually. Or as MVP has berated Kennedy in his injuries, calling him injury pro. Kennedy won that number one contenders match involving Zack Starrfink and Jack Swagger and another one. I forgot who regardless, regardless, it could be some poetic justice for Kennedy to actually beat MVP for the United States Championship here, wouldn't you think? Well, these two men have been compared to each other a lot of times. They, they've uh, teamed up together against Kane and Undertaker as a cocky two group of superstars. These two were once considered the fastest rising stars in uh, WWE. And one of them Ooh. went for total nonstop Russo and became an asshole. Literally. He still is. Oh, MVP's working on Mr. Kennedy with those shots. What a clothesline. Oh, flatjack. Uh, and Homer shot. has corrected me about total nonstop Russo. He is correct. It's not total nonstop Russo. It's total nonstop Hogan. Because as we all know, TNA was never that bad when Vince Russo was booking. It yeah, was so bad, but still. Anyway, Mr. Kennedy is. Kennedy is full of MVP so far. Another flapjack. I don't really see any. Their styles are pretty similar, and I just have to say MVP is a little older, so he probably has the experience edge. This is a matchup that many have talked about ever since MVP debuted when Candy got that big role. One of the most expected matchups. We get MVP chance. Well, wow. that's surprising. Yeah. Kennedy. That weak frog is what actually what injured Kennedy in his match against Matt Hardy. Yeah, he injured his quad. <laughs> match that Matt Hardy capitalized and won the World Heavyweight Championship. That's exactly nice. right. Scoop slam. I don't know about this match, this seems like one of those filler matches. Yeah. The crowd is, the crowd's really in the MVP though, which is pretty surprising. Yeah, Candy's the big fan, supposed to be the big fan favorite. Regardless, even if this is a filler match, this is still WrestleMania. These men are going to go out there and give it their best. This may not be one of the best, this may not be one of the best hyped up matches on the card. But it's definitely going to be a good match as is. And a scoop slam. It's, it's really important for these guys to be on the WrestleMania card, no matter how, no matter which match it is in. MVP, what a shot! Can he, the MVP has been in control throughout this whole matchup, mainly. And somewhat to the delight of the crowd. Oh, well, well, one, two. Kennedy kicks out. 
I gotta say, MVP as a champion, he is very used to being in this spot. He knows what it's like to be a champion. He can defend like a champion. This man has got the heart of a champion, so to say. Candy has been held championship gold before, too. Has he held it long, though? No, he has not. And again, neither has MVP. But MVP can at least defend like a champion. And wait a minute. Is pulling. The MVP beat Zach starting winning the United States Championship two. And it seems that MVP in this match has the crowd on his side, which might be a little surprising. Off the spine buster cover now. One, One. two, United States. No. Was that a two count? Oh, one count. Bicycle kick. And now Candy. This could be the opening. He's. Gaining some momentum now. Leg drop. Another flapjack. Kennedy's getting hyped up. MVP. Oh, Kenny, roll it up. Roll up. This is the movie beat Ed for the one on. That we beat Jeff mm. Benjamin, actually. Yeah, for the Money in the Bank case. Which, those ma two matches are still coming up to, uh, come up later. Yeah, two Money in the Bank ladder matches. Look at that, off the top rope. And the only for two. Two and kick out. So far, I don't think this match has been that bad. It's just been more of a brawl than anything. I mean, we need at least a little bit of cool off time. This is the cool off time we got right here after three amazing matches to start off the night. But you, have to give top, elbow but you have to give it to both these guys. This feud might not be the most heated in the world, but they're still giving it their all in that ring right now. Katie giving it all with that elbow drop. Wants the United States Championship. Oh. Diddy D. United States Championship. Like the Intercontinental Championship is like the stepping point to the World Championship. Both these men, though being former world champions, this might be able to get them seen back into the eyes of the public and get another, get them another shot at the world title. Oh! Wait a minute! That shoulder candy is... Oh, wait a minute, roll up! MVP rolls him up! One, One two, two, three! three. MVP! Oh, look at the way his head hit that turnbuckle. Oh, that might have hurt. Kennedy might be injured again, but regardless, MVP retains the United States Championship. He capitalized off that Kennedy being over aggressive. This is exactly Kennedy's what I was talking has to be heard. That, this that is looks very painful. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said MVP fights like a champion. He takes any advantage when it's in front of him, and that's what Kennedy did. He left himself wide open with all this aggression he had against the MVP, and that cost him here tonight. Yeah, it sure did, and MVP is still your, the United States Champion. He's had one title change here tonight in the Intercontinental Championship. This next match is not all, it's not just about the title, it's very personal. Danny Jackpot versus Kurt Angle. Ooh, the spot. That's a submission Angle. match. Yep, and let's take a look at how this feud came to be with this little video package. It all okay. started at Survival of the Fit. Look at Danny Drake, my man. Whoa, oh, what the hell? Um. It's Danny Jackpot! Oh, I didn't see this coming. Oh, the burger of Kofi! Sweet oh, kick! Super kick! Oh no! Last oh, wait a minute! Hit for number 27! Danny Jackpot is going Hogan! Code breaker! And there goes Hogan! Hogan eliminated! We're down to three! Who's going to hit my WrestleMania? To play Danny Jackpot with a rock! Wait, 
Carter. Wait a minute, here comes Vince McMahon. Andy no Jackson. Hey, Jack Father. Whoa! He's come out to his old theme. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's just the first thing I noticed. Gay Jackpot is coming out the coming of age. Yeah. This feud's very personal. Angle claims that Danny took his that Danny took Angle's spot. Angle yeah. nearly ended Danny's career. You ran him over with the car. He, he nearly ended Danny's life. Danny Jackpot came back in the biggest way, winning at the Royal Reckoning in the Royal Reckoning match itself, only to lose his spot to Kurt Angle, only for Kurt Angle to surrender his spot because Kurt Angle wants nothing more than to break Danny Jackpot's ankle, ladies and gentlemen. This is the order of their match. It's a submission match. I'm, I'm in a uh, little shock here. Well, good shock, though. But Danny coming out to his old theme. Here comes Kurt Angle. Well, it just shows you with Danny's old theme, and he knows how to make an entrance. But let's not talk about him. Let's talk about Kurt Angle. Let's talk about how far Kurt Angle has gone to get his hands on Danny Jackpot. Listen to this crowd. This crowd is in full disapproval of Kurt Angle. Do not like him. Do not want him to win. Such a negative reaction. That this crowd's acting kind of weird tonight. First chanting of MVP. I think Bobby Lashley was cheered at some point. Regardless, Kurt Angle has the advantage in this match. Like.